Welcome to the English Common Law MOOC in Flax training video number one. In this first video, I'm going to take you into Flax at the level of the lectures themselves. And we're going to look at features particular to Flax for mining the lectures. So we're looking at a feature called Wikify, which links the lectures to Wikipedia. We're also looking at part of speech tags, and we're also going to focus in on different word lists for you to identify academic legal terms as well as topic specific legal terms as they're used in the lectures by Professor Geary at London University. Right, let's begin with Google so you can find the Flax project online. It's important to type in Flax language and you'll see the first hit here on Google is the Flax Language Project at the University of Waikato in New Zealand. And you'll notice down here on the right are some law collections that we're building uh, for Legal English. Um, go to the second link. This is the English Common Law MOOC lectures from the University of London with Coursera. And you'll notice that the collection takes you to the lectures themselves as the default setting. So we're really interested here in seeing what we can do with the lectures in Flax. So let's open up one of these lectures and you'll see in Flax the video of Professor Geary is being streamed in from Vimeo and you'll also see a transcript here as well. So what are some of the things that you can do with the actual lectures as you see them in full? Well, to the right, we've got some features here. I'll just click on this one first, Wikify. And what it's doing, essentially, is it's linking in Wikipedia to this lecture resource in Flax. And key words, key, key concepts from this lecture are being highlighted. So let's click on Parliamentary Sovereignty. And you'll notice there's a quick definition, but there's also related topics in Wikipedia, the factor tame litigation, um, so lots of interesting and useful resources, we think, that you can go and explore around this lecture to enhance this lecture. Um, another key character in the lecture series um, by Professor Geary is Albert Dicey. Um, and you'll see once again topics that are related to this key character, Albert Dicey. And if you want to, you can obviously go over to Wikipedia and um, take in more detail about the links being provided here in Flax. Okay, we've also got um, these three buttons here on the right, and these are what we call part of speech tags. So they're going to highlight all of the adjective phrases, noun phrases, and verb phrases in this lecture, and any of the lectures in this series. So if you are interested in storing any of these phrases as you go through the lectures, you can add them to what's called your cherry basket up here. So essentially you are going through the lectures and cherry picking useful things that you want to remember. So let's go back to that lecture. There's a couple of other things I want to show you. And the word list function. Uh, here are the top one and two thousand most frequent words in English. This is part of what we call the general service list. And then we go down to general academic words. You can see there are five percent here in this lecture. And also topic specific words. So you can see dicey, British, parliamentary sovereignty, enact. So these are the key words, the most frequent topic specific words coming up in this lecture. We also do have a, a keyword slider. So Words that are showing up in blue are the most frequent words in this lecture. As you slide along to the right, more words come into focus. So it gives you an idea of which words you really need to focus on to get the, the, main, um, the main words, the main concepts out of this lecture.